In the previous video, we were asked to plot the following complex numbers on the Argand plane. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you pause the video and try it out. Okay, the first complex number is 1 plus 2i. How do we write it as an ordered pair? It can be written as 1 comma 2. Real part and the imaginary part. Let's draw the Argand plane. The horizontal axis is the real axis and the vertical axis is the imaginary axis. To plot this point, we move one unit right on the real axis and two units up on the imaginary axis. This will be the point. Let's call it point A. It was pretty easy, right? What about the next one? Negative 2 plus i. The real part is negative 2 and the imaginary part is 1 times i. Hence the ordered pair can be written as negative 2 comma 1. Two units to the left on the real axis and one unit up on the imaginary axis. That's our second point. Point B. Were you able to plot the third one? It's just negative 4i, which can also be written as 0 minus 4i. The real part does not exist or we can say that it's 0. And the imaginary part is negative 4i. The ordered pair can be written as 0, negative 4. It can be plotted here on the y-axis. Remember, anything of the form 0 plus bi will be on the imaginary axis. And what about the last one? Negative 2i plus 1. The ordered pair can be written as negative 2 comma 1, right? This is a very common mistake that students make when they are in a hurry. A complex number is always written in the form a plus bi and not bi plus a. So this is actually 1 minus 2i, which makes the ordered pair 1 comma negative 2. And it can be plotted here in the fourth quadrant. I am sure you're comfortable with plotting complex numbers now. But wait! Did you observe something? 1 minus 2i is the complex conjugate of 1 plus 2i. And this point on the Argon plane is the mirror image of this one along the real axis. That's an important point. The complex conjugate of a complex number will always be its mirror image across the real axis.